Hello, Asa. We're in the wood shop, and we're going to figure out what that means. I mean, that means I'm working on these chair things, but I mean for a video. I don't know what this is going to be. We're going to figure it out. But we have this view, which is kind of cool. Uh, I could do a time lapse, but I didn't set it up for that. So you're just going to get a regular speed video for at least one of these guys. <laughs> Have I shown you these chairs before? I mean, Asa, you sat on these chairs, but I mean like the audience at all, have you seen these chairs before? They're pretty cool chairs. These chairs are what we would call older than dirt because they're old, but not as old as dirt because dirt's really old, which is why they say older than dirt. Like it's not older than dirt. And this piece right here is from one of them. I don't think either of these, but someone, somewhere made this to be a sort of cross support. Some of these actually have holes that have been filled that look like they might've had them before, but some of them don't have those holes. And one of them had these supports. So I don't know, these chairs are old. They got a lineage of Emma's grandpa bought them for her dad's family from a barn auction. Presumably so it was owned by someone else before them. So the point is, is these chairs existed for, you know, however many years and have slowly decayed by the fact that people sit in them. Presumably uh, the people that raise people like Emma who marries people like me, which is to say people who rock in chairs and fidget and don't sit normally at all. And I can't say that I would ever endorse in good faith not sitting in chairs for the fear of them becoming uncharable. <laughs> Chair jokes. In fact, I'd almost make the argument that my favorite thing about chairs is that you can sit in them. But I think it's suffice to say that these chairs have put in their work. And that's not just because they took it sitting down. Handles so I can router it, hopefully without losing my fingers. That's a joke mom and dad who are on vacation and I'm using their shop while they're not home. Got this side done, now I'm doing that side. Yeah! So interesting enough, it's all rounded and now it's just sanding it till I like it and then putting them on whatever chairs I want. All right, Asa, we're back after a day and I sanded them off camera because it was horribly boring, but they look pretty okay now. I think a, a slightly wiggly cross support is less of an issue than I want to think. So we gotta get this guy drilled out a little bit. Got these screws that are the ones that go from the back here into this base. So drill a pothole, screw that in, get that going. Yeah, getting that guy in is funky. I got this whole assembly here that when I go and gets tough, I just switch over to a socket, which is really cursed if you've ever used a socket to attach a flathead screw. I'm like lipstick on a pig, but reversed because the screw strip. So it's like pig fat on a person. There, there we go. Mo mostly screwed. This is a new screw. I replaced the old one because I stripped it out. Um, so this one might be a little worse for wear and might need to be unscrewed and a new one re-screwed and that might be beneficial, but whatever. The goal here is find a pair of chair straps that match and screw them in basically. There we are. Right, we're We're almost, we're getting one screwed on. So here's an entrepreneurial idea. You can make a vise that has a hole to put a screwdriver through. So you can clamp around a hole so it'll screw tight, but you can still get the driver in there. Oh, that would be nice. That, that's a $20 idea right there. Well, it's several people's worth of $20, I'd say. $60. So I cracked this somehow. I mean, not somehow, I screwed in too tight. But uh, you get the idea, you've seen it before. Ace, I'll see you sometime.